sitting right next to this hibiscus here. It is a Luna Red and uh, you can see the growth has already started and usually I try to cut it earlier before it gets that tall just so that it's easier to cut out the sticks from last year because they will not grow anything again ever so it's just helpful to cut them out but usually you leave them in case you'd like to keep the crown safe over the winter so I'm just gonna cut the sticks off now. So here it is up close. The leaves are really neat. Sorry there's noise. The neighbor is mowing the lawn and then these sticks are just ugly and unneeded so I'm going to cut them all the way down to the ground. I don't know if these are going to be strong enough. Oh, just kind of broke. There it is. Kind of like a very light weight stick. It's kind of breaking off actually. There's a stem. I don't want to break that or that. This is Menorda, so I know that. You can cut it in fall if you want, um, but it really does protect it over the winter, especially if you have snow. Where you live. And it's really hard to wait for when hibiscus will bloom because it's one of the last to show any signs of growth. I think it was mid-May when these first started coming up. Sometimes the stems just pull out, which is nice. to weed too so that it's not competing for nutrients and water.
weird. Sometimes the scissors, whatever they're called, they don't um, cut it, but they make it easy to break the stick and stuff, which works. There it is, ready to flower. It gets like three to four feet tall every single season with huge like flowers that are like <laughs> this big. They're huge. So, and red, really beautiful. And there are the sticks. Look, the peonies are blooming. I got these from my neighbor. They have little red specks. And our Jordan Full Moon Maple is full of leaves, and then the new ones have like pink on the edges. So cute. The Henry uh, Clematis has reached the top of the obelisk. No flower buds yet. And then the coral charm peony has bloomed and gone to seed and put on new buds that the ants love. Hello.